is already made easy in this series the differences between endocytosis and exocytosis. Now, what is the main differences between exocytosis and endocytosis? As the word indicates, exo means the outside. So, anything which is going outside from the cell is exocytosis. Endocytosis means coming inside the cell. You can think in that way. So the definition for the exocytosis is the process by which cells move materials from within the cells into the extracellular fluid. Means exocytosis from the cells it goes outside. Endocytosis the definition process it is a process by which cells take in substances from outside to the cells by engulfing. Means it has to take endocytosis. So what is the what purpose it serves? Exo means something is giving out. So remove the toxins or waste from the cells interior. So whatever the metabolites and product which are harmful or it is waste has to be removed from the cell. So it facilitate cellular also facilitate cellular communications. What is the purpose of knowing what is endocytosis is it will capture the harmful pathogens disposing old and damaged cells and taking in nutrients for cellular growth and repair. So it is helpful in immunity. It is of two types, exocytosis. It is regulated exocytosis and constitutive exocytosis. Regulated means the secretory part or granules has to be accumulated in a vesicle. Then there is a requirement of an stimulus. And after the stimulus or signal, they extruded out. So regulated. Whenever there is a signal, there is exocytosis. That is called regulated. But once it is constitutive, gradually it accumulated, not like this, but gradually one, two, three, like that. And continuously it releases in small vesicles. It is known as constitutive exocytosis. So the very good example of regulated exocytosis is neurotransmitter, acetylcholine. Now, what are the types of endocytosis? Is phagocytosis or pin pinocytosis? Phago, as the name indicates, Eating, it indicates eating by engulf or destroy. Engulf or destroy. So we will learn this point, this point in immunity. How the macrocyte, monocytes, they engulf and destroy the bacteria or harmful things. Pinocytosis means drinking. When the cells... Uh, now, there is one more difference I would like to tell you, phagocytosis and pinocytosis. In phagocytosis, surface, they emerge out and they form a vesicle. Now, this vesicle, cell membrane protrude out and they make a combined here and then they form a vesicle. This is the process known as phagocytosis. Means the cell has eaten the whatever, bacteria or something. Now, pinocytosis means drinking. It is sip by sip. So, there is a liquid or small molecules accumulated, accumulated, more accumulated, they form the vesicle, just like it, drop by drop. So, these are the differences between the endocytosis and exocytosis. So, this is a new series or differences 
between the exocytosis and endocytosis and thanking you subscribe for further differences to know the physiology thank you